are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, He's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. They're really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Oh, a roundhouse kick lands. jab just over three minutes to go round one he's now cut above the eye from that strike that bears watching as this fight continues leg kick Too many more of those. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. The fighter's on point tonight, lands a beautiful kick.
two minutes. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Great block there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yes, that's John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, he's got his back. Gotta get out of there. <clears throat> oh, right into Mount. Nice transition. Excellent ground and pound here by Lee. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night in that land. Dig and kick. Oh, side kick. Well done. Under a minute to go. Got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Oh! Keep your head in it. Keep your head in it. Hook to the headlands, flush there by Lee. Just out of range with the straight left hand. No defense. These two are going back and forth. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. 20 seconds to go. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Lands a big elbow there. Huh. Round two coming up next. Heading back to the corner now. Lee's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world, targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. Right. That's what that is? That's right. Right. <laughs> Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? And both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Straight punch lands. Beautiful punch to the body. Just missed with the leg kick. Beautiful jab lands. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. That's good defense to block that punch. Oh, and the high kick lands. Oh, nice kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. To go against him. Oh! Block that one. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. Oh, big left. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. 
Uh-oh. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, you talk about mix with the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. Then he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Under two minutes to go. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Beautiful left punch lands. He's got some hands, man. Well, he's really starting to land a You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. Big head kick! Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, big left hand! Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Under a minute to go in the round. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see. Ah! That's the biggest shot to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh. Ten minutes oh. in the can. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, missed on that one. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. And both guys really throwing with authority. Body kick lands. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Lee's taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get a referee or even a doctor to intervene here. Nice kick to the body. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a roll attempt. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize. Fifteen steps in. Oh. Unbelievable. 
So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had...